Evaluate the limit as theta approaches pi over 2 of cosine theta multiplied by cosine of tangent theta. Now notice, first off, if we plug in pi over 2, that'll be cosine pi over 2, which is 0. And cosine of tangent theta, which tangent of pi over 2, we notice, is undefined. So that gives us, because it's undefined, we can't just plug it in. We'll have to use other techniques like the squeeze theorem. So what we're going to do is recognize that the cosine of any angle, no matter what the value is inside, has to be less, uh, greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 1 in between this range of negative 1 and 1. And so what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate this inequality to get this limit in between. And then by the squeeze theorem, we're going to evaluate the limits on each side. And then if they're equal, then we can say that this is also equal to that, equal to the limit of the outside. So to do this, we're going to multiply all three parts of the inequality by cosine theta. So we have negative cosine theta, and then cosine theta, and then cosine theta. Notice that we have this inside part. That's why we multiplied by cosine theta. Then we take the limit as theta approaches pi over 2 of all three parts. And again, because we're trying to get the limit, this the original limit in the middle of the inequality. And then we can evaluate the inequality on each end. So that's by plugging in pi over 2. So we plug in pi over 2 here. We get negative cosine pi over 2. Remember, cosine pi over 2 is 0. So it's just 0. Similarly, on this side, cosine pi over 2 is 0. And so our limit in the middle is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 0, So which means that it must be equal to 0. And so by the squeeze theorem, it's 0.